Okay, so sorry that it's been such a long time since I made a video, but I've been really busy with stuff. But I thought I would, uh, I would show you this cast puzzle. It's a crab, which I received around a week ago, and uh, I thought I would scramble this brain ball on camera as well. Because in the unboxing video of this, which I did a long time ago, I didn't scramble it because this disc, it was just so, so stiff, so difficult to turn. And I thought, you know, trying to scramble this will just be way too much hassle. So I didn't scramble it in my unboxing video. But uh, last night, I put in quite a few drops of uh, Maru Lube, and now it just turns so much better. So let's take a look at the crab puzzle first. So I got this off eBay, and it took absolutely ages to get it. In fact, I think when about a month and a half had passed, I really didn't think I was going to get it. So um, I just contacted the seller on eBay and he gave me a full refund. And then about a week or a couple of weeks later, I actually received this. So on it, it says CP7 China. Um, I'm guessing maybe CP stands for copper plated because it does kind of look like copper. Um, I think if it was solid copper I'd be able to bend it maybe um, but I can't so I'm guessing it's probably copper plated I'm not really sure what the 7 uh, stands for though um, I think it's a really nice looking puzzle and the object is to get this ring which is a fish off the crab so on the crab you've got these indentations on each side and it's these indent indentations where you can pass the ring through but the ring needs to be orientated correctly you can see we've got a thick end there and a thinner end there. It's the thinner end that can pass through the indentations, the thicker end can't. So, for example, here we've got the thicker end, it won't pass through this indentation because it's too thick, but the thinner end will pass through the indentation. So I can, I can pass this through this indentation. Let's see like that. So yeah, I've been finding this really, really difficult. I've been um, messing around with it for a few days now and I just cannot get the ring off it at all. Um, very nice looking puzzle. Very difficult, for me anyway. Um, I'm a total novice when it comes to cast puzzles, so I'm not really, as far as cast puzzles go, I'm not really sure how difficult this is really, but for me, um, I'm finding it really, really difficult. So, yeah, let's scramble this brain ball. So, yeah, like I said, um, I, to, I put in a few drops of Maru Lube and it didn't really seem to make any difference. So, I just put in a lot more and now this circle, it just turns so much better. So, I think this is German. You can see a spark plug there. Um, then this looks like German, what's written on the other side. You've got numbers going around it on each side. Uh, these numbers are yellow, these numbers are white. And so not only can you turn it this way, but you can also turn it this way as well, like that. So on this bit you can turn three numbers, on this bit you can turn four, like that. So turning it this way, it's always been pretty much fine. It was just turning it this way, which was really difficult. Um, as you can see, it is sold. So we've got one going through to 13 there. I've not solved it. It came to me sold, and I've never scrambled it before. So, uh, yeah, let's scramble this. I do have another similar puzzle to this. It's called... Uh, a Magnif Saturn. <clears throat> it looks pretty much the same, only it's made up of uh, less tiles and it does turn differently. I mean you can turn the ring like this but then you don't have bits like these that you can turn. Um, basically it's like the ball, it's got like a split through the middle so you, so you can actually turn the ball like that and it will turn like one half of these tiles around. So yeah, it's amazing just how much better this turns now because uh, the way it was before, um, I could I could.
barely turn it at all. So, I can't seem to scramble up the colours that well. The numbers seem uh, scrambled up quite a lot, but the colours, not that much. Uh, let's see, let's do one more turn and I'll call it scrambled. So there you go, that is a scrambled brain ball. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.